Hello everyone and welcome to another plant spotlight in the greenhouse. For today's spotlight I wanted to take at this little guy right here. This is, come on, focus on the tag. First try please. No, you don't want to do it? There we go. Miltasa Lavender Kiss Lavender Taffy. Although it's, I believe it's Bretonia now, I believe, I think. No, that's us. I think it might be Bretonia, I'm not sure. But I'll just read what the tag says and stick with that for now. And so this one, you can see, it's had a little bit of a history. This one was originally just these three bulbs in the front. It was a seedling from my Orchid Society's annual or seedling repot. And so I got this one, and I can't remember what the other one I got was, but I have this one. And it's doing pretty well, actually. The reason it looks the way it does is because back in, I believe it was July, when I, while I was away on a band trip for my community band it, the, my greenhouse actually had a bit of an accident and the wind of a storm that we were having lifted it up and tossed it around a little bit so things went flying so you, you can't you can hardly tell that ever happened now everything's been growing so well but things so things were unpotted things were cry, like stuck under the frame and so this one had got stuck on had gotten stuck under the frame and got damaged like scratched and like the leaves some of the leaves got scratched the uh, pseudo bulbs got scratched, but it, it. But these were these were um, these were the two newest. These two big ones, and then for some reason it grew these tiny little ones. Even though the plant has a ton of roots and was looking good, Let's see if I can get it to stay focused on them because it doesn't want to stay focused on them. They go. And then there's this one over here. They had a lot of roots, and this one's the largest of the three. They've got a lot of roots. The plant has a, has a nice root system. You can see some new roots growing in there as well. It's potted in Orchiata with a little bit of moss mixed in. And it's been growing super well. It should bloom off the next pseudobulbs. I, I thought it was going to bloom off the ones that it grew, but because they grew so small, that probably is why. I don't know why it happened. Maybe it was because I, re I repotted it right before those growths grew. I don't know. But they didn't get very big. The ones before it, though, doubled in size from the previous growth, so that was a good sign. The older leaves, like these, are the ones that got damaged in the storm. I, they're doing, it's doing good. I keep my Miltasas and Oncidium types fairly bright. I keep them, I let them approach dryness, fully dryness, before I soak them again, and then I soak them. Like I really soak them to make sure all the media gets wet and all the roots get watered. And then I just let it dry out again. It sits up, it's up there in that white tray for now. And it's in an air cone pot. I believe that's a three inch air cone pot. And it's thriving for me right now. It's just grown so well besides that little oopsie with the tinier bulbs. But even the tinier bulbs, they grew nice and plump. They grew nice healthy leaves and the roots on these, on this plant are just amazing. When I repotted them, I saw just how much they were doing and they were doing super well so yeah that's how I do that they um they get fertilized weekly weekly on my on my um, normal schedule on the pump sprayer here and so far so good hoping next time like I said they will bloom and, and I made sure that they're not gonna get damaged again but even with the damage pardon me I'm a little exhausted there's they still like I said they still did well you can see all the new roots Oop. Let me get the camera to focus again. All the new roots on those new bul newer bulbs. And you can see just how big, by comparison, the bulbs before them were. This one grew two, and this one just grew one. But they're happy and healthy and growing growing well. And it grows relatively quickly. The Lavender Kiss is a very, like, lavender purple, hence its name, colored. Miltasa, very, like, spidery kind of style blooms, and I love it. I, I don't know if it's fragrant. I've heard it could be, but I also heard it isn't, so I'll find out when it does bloom. But like I said, you can see how big of a plant it is now compared to what it was. It was just these three little bulbs. It was about this big. This is another Miltasa. This is Miltasa Charles Marfitch Izumi, A-M-A-O-S. That one was a more recent seedling, so it hasn't gotten as big yet from the same kind of event. But this one... Just doing super well so far. Hopefully it'll bloom off the next growth and hopefully I'll have something to show you guys. But that's all for now. Thank you guys for coming by and watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.